a burger bear, which is pretty cool. And then there's a little bear in the back as well. What do you reckon? Look at this cat bag, guys. That's really nice. That's really big. SLGs in that very trending Bordeaux color. Wow. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. We're gonna try out vlogging today. Got my new nifty microphone. We're gonna test it out. Hopefully you can hear me okay. We're just driving on the freeway because we're gonna make it into the city. Got to, you know, buy a few things, maybe have some lunch, go shopping. So enjoy my vlog, guys. Hope it goes okay. Firstly, well, we got to get to the outfit details. Got my sunglasses on here from Chanel. Then I have my Moschino coat, which I got for my birthday from me to me. I actually got it from the Outnet. They always have amazing discounts actually. And sometimes they have like extra 20% off or all that. And then I'm wearing my Cali 32 in the Cellier Epsom. This one's from 2008. And I have my big clochette on there. And oh, I have to show you guys my new petite H. This one is a witchy poo. And it's a pink this way and then blue this way. Um, and then I just have on some Uniqlo pants. So nothing too crazy on the bottom, but yep, let's go. I'm just going to go to brunch now. We're going to Faraday's Cage, which is a little cafe in Melbourne. So let's check it out. Alex, what's your outfit of the day? My outfit of the day? Yeah. My outfit of the day is no hair. Oh, no hair. You got your t-shirt, Loewe puzzle. You've got your new jeans. Yeah. And what are your boots? RM Williams. RM Williams boots. Yeah. Looking pretty good, Alex. But I need a new t-shirt today. Oh yeah, so we're gonna go out and buy Alex some new t-shirts today. But I'm gonna buy the same t-shirt as this, yeah. a new one. His t-shirt is from Basik, which Local is- Australian brand. Yeah, Australian brand, Basik. So, yep, Alex looking good as usual. <laughs> so you got some honey baked toast. Wouldn't mind that. I had a Starbucks this morning, so maybe, mm, what should I have? Mushroom medley, sticky. Oh, chai rice porridge. Alex, what are you gonna get? I came in thinking smashed avocado. Smashed avocado. But now I've seen the fried chicken waffle. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I will get avocado. Avocado and toast. The other one, <laughs> it will be so oily and then I'll feel so oily all day. Oh, the chicken. Mm. Oh. It smells like so chai. It smells so delicious. It's got like, it looks like it's got like, I don't know, like peanut buttery. It smells really delicious. Mm. That's really yum. Look at this big pear. Wow. That is a crazy pear. Yeah, it's definitely got. Uh, strong essence of chai. Alex, yours looks very fresh too. Can't wait to give it a try. Mm. Put some seeds on there. What does it taste like, Alex? Mmm. Does it taste good? Like heaven. Guys, that oatmeal was so delicious. I like ate the whole thing. Um, yeah, I I always like eat the whole thing usually. I'm like pretty hungry person. <laughs> but I thought, you know, sometimes oatmeal is very heavy. That one was like not too stodgy and it didn't feel like there was like a big lump in my stomach afterwards. It was like the pear was very light and like the chai flavor was really delicious so i would recommend that and alex also polished off his um 
his avocado. So yeah, it was really delicious. We didn't get any coffee because we got Starbucks this morning. We don't usually get Starbucks, but it's just like a novelty. It feels like, I don't know, every time I go to Starbucks, I feel like I'm in like America. Because it doesn't feel like Melbourne coffee at all. And like in Melbourne, like we're really known for like good coffee. So we literally just go there because it reminds me and Alex of when we went to Japan. It was like every day we went to Starbucks. So it's just like a fun thing we do. But yep, that was delicious. Yes, we'll just head on to the city now. Get some t-shirts for Alex. <laughs> Hopefully we can spot some designer clothes as well. Melbourne just gonna walk around do some shopping there's a lot of little restaurants and that sort of thing around here as well so if, if you're new to Melbourne it's a nice place to browse around you can also get parking uh, for like $20 if you buy something at the supermarket which is cool so yeah let's let's have fun guys <laughs> it's like a cow. looks like a cow <laughs> Like. This is for Jesse's eyes only. <laughs> yeah, the grey is good. It kind of looks like white in the sliding, but yeah. It's what do you reckon? Gray. Yeah. I don't mind, it's a very solid grey. I've got the other one that's like a headband sort of grey. Yeah. I think it's nice. Yeah. I think yeah, I think it looks good. I'll try the green one. Okay. Yeah, the green is much nicer actually. Yeah. That really looks good on you, the green. It matches the red boots and everything. I really like these jeans. They're like purple acid wash. Maybe you should try it on. I really, really, really like these shoes. Ah. Oh, that is that really, one. really cute. I like that. Oh. I really like these couches. Okay guys, I'm just gonna try on the purple jeans. I think they're like $400. So um, let's hope they don't look good. These are like a size 25. I feel like they look really weird though. Like see how they like barrel out like this? I know that's like the look, but I'm just not sure about it guys. Like it's not really doing much for my butt. I'm not too sure about this situation. What do you reckon? I don't know you guys. I feel like my Uniqlo pants look better, which were like $40. Yeah. My rule is if you find pants that you're wearing look better than the ones you're trying to buy, then don't buy the new pants. Just stick to your old pants. Oh guys, I love this Powerpuff Girls um, t-shirt. Oh, I'm a sucker for novelty t-shirts, but look, it even comes in matching track pants. That is way too cute. Oh, Acme de la Vie. I think this is a Korean brand. I bought a Hello Kitty t-shirt from there once actually. Wow. Hey Alex, what do you reckon of your shopping experience? So far, love it. This brand, Basic. I got a white t-shirt maybe two years ago and I bought two of them. And I'm the kind of guy who will just wear the same thing every day. So I like to have the same thing, put it on rotation. And they've lasted me years got nice and slouchy so I've just returned to buy my fifth and sixth t-shirt from them so I should be set for the next 12 years I reckon. Just checking out APC. Alex likes this brand too. 
I haven't bought much from APC, but I know that Katie Holmes did a collab with them. I wonder if it's here actually. I'm loving just the classic styles. Oh, I love this fluffy knit actually. That is really cute. Really gorgeous. Just a bomber jacket. This jacket is nice with the pocket. But you're thinking you need like a shorter one. Yeah, for me it's a bit long. Bit, bit long for you. Mm. Yeah. Could be a little bit long. I like it though. I'd probably wear that. Oh, check out these bags in Inku. There's a Jacquemus, little roll bag. I don't know if they're all Jacquemus. Maybe some are other brands. I know that's a new bag, that red one. And they've got a denim on there. Pretty cool. this little bag has some like embossing on it and then these are the marine sair boots i remember i had a top from that brand caperni platforms another caperni stud bag it's pretty cool a jacquemus little snakeskin bag here some little shoes wow let's go over to the um the bag section over here i know diesel was like a pretty hot brand like last year they had a bit of a resurgence what do you think about these bags guys i think they're it's not really my style i think if i was in my early 20s i could pull it off it's kind of like that i don't know it reminds me of like britney spears or something i love britney spears we've got the alexander wang little corduroy bags up here look at these leopard print bags crazy and oh my gosh, I hope that my voice can cover up the Jacquemus playing in the back. It's Jacquemus, Jamiroquai, I mean. Jamiroquai is the best, la la la. Oh, look at these bags. Got some more over here. And oh, I love that little bow bag. It kind of reminds me of Bottega with the weave, but it's Alexander Wang. That is some, um, that is really throwback Britney Spears, Justin Timberlake kind of vibe. They were dating, right? Yeah, they were. Hey, look, ambush, heart bag. A heart bag's still cool. And we got some more crescent moon shaped bags. I know that these were trending for a while. $630. Go down here, we have some Acne Studios. Shoulder bag here. Love this Acne Studios bag with the crinkle leather. That is adorable. Now I know Silver Metallic is coming back since Louis Vuitton is bringing back the mirror collection. That's a nice little variation. I wonder if Jacquemus is going to be the new designer of Chanel. That would be. That'd be hilarious actually. Oh, look at this glow. It's kind of like glow mesh tote bag. And then up here we have some very interesting hobo bags from this brand. Let me know if you can read that guys. I'm reaching my hand right up there. Look at that weird shape. The, the brand is Osseo. Get rid of this bag still. I love that Acne Studios bag. Oh, I love this bag. This is from, it's the once La Mer. I think that's La Mer. And this is a really cute bag too. These Gany bags are quite cool too. I know that Charlie XCX wears Gany a lot. Oh, this is Marai. They have a lot of designer brands as well, but it's more like street style clothes. Um, a lot of sneakers, that sort of thing. What's in there actually, Alex? It's the women's Marai. Oh, it's the women's Marai. Yeah. A lot of shoes. Now we're at a QV and we're in Emporium which has a lot more shops, multi-level in Melbourne. So just check out what's happening. I mean a lot of the shops like kind of move around quite a lot so I can't remember like what shop is where but we're just going to peruse around and like suss it out I guess. Oh my gosh, you guys, look, it's like denim jackets and they have little bears stuck on them. That is way too cute. Uh, this brand is 
uh, one three Damaso. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but check out this one, Alex. It has a little like lace stuck to it, miniature lace, and then there's a little bear, a bear brooch, and it has lace on it. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, like a little T-shirt with a bunny, or you can get the bear. Um, oh my gosh, look at this one. It's like a little bunny stuck to it. Oh, look at this blazer. It's like a little bunny stuck to the top of it. And there's a big bear on the back. <laughs> wow, I think you can detach the bear though. I think, yeah, I think there's like little clips so you can detach the bear if you like, which is handy. And then over here, I think there's some more like little cardigans. And you've got like a burger, a burger bear, which is pretty cool. Check out that burger bear. Wow. Oh, and Alex, look, there's a Care Bears. And then there's a little bear in the back as well. That's quite nice. Uh, what else do we have? Well, you can get little sneakers with the bear stuck to it as well, um, which is cool. Or if you want to go something a little bit more um, adventurous, you could even go for a hat with a, a bear stuck right on top of your head. That could be a cool option, you know, just something like that. Or you could even get a little coordinated glitter bear set or, um, you know, a rustic bear, an army bear cargo bear even you got a little oh my god that's so hilarious look at this pants with a cargo bear you know maybe these pants would be better than the basiki pants that i tried before the purple ones kind of tempted to try the bear pants but yeah i don't know look it's like a dangling bear check it out and then in the the flare there's some little pink rips as well that's cool <laughs> I'm pretty sure that brand is called 13 Damaso. I think it could be from Europe, but I'm not entirely sure, but I always see tourists wearing it. So it might be just, you know, something that's not mainstream yet, but I'm not sure guys. Would you be willing to wear a bear hat or a bear top? Let me know. I mean, I think it, like I'm all for like a bit of craziness. I don't know if I'd go that far, but uh, I, I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm loving it. I, I would definitely get like a cardigan or a jacket or something, I think. Oh well, guys, this coach store is massive. I think I must have newly renovated it because it's like fully yellow. And I know that the old school coach is more of a brown color scheme, so it looks a lot more modernized and fun. So let's go check it out. Hello, Hello how are you? <laughs> It's really nice. Well, check out this cat bag, guys. That is really nice. I love the little whiskers. And then, whoa. Look, there's the Coach Empire bag, Alex, with the apple. That's really nice. With the Bordeaux color. That's actually been quite popular, I think. This is the popular one, the Empire bag. That's quite cool. Can I try on uh, this one? Which one? Uh, this one. This one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's okay. I'll just hold it by the, sure, the hand yeah, yeah. There's also straps there. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> so this is size 40. Oh, We're size 40. Also... It doesn't look that big. We also have 48. Oh, so that's a size 48. That's really big. What do you reckon? And then this is a size 40. So it's got the... I think the 40 is actually not that big. If you look at, look at it, but then the 48, wow, look at that. <laughs> That's huge. But I think it'd be good for travel. Ombre design to it. Which one would you choose, guys? <laughs> Which one do you like, Alex? Big one. The big one. That's huge. Yeah, I mean, the color is nice. Actually, not too heavy. It'd be nice for a holiday, I think, to Japan or something. Oh, it's okay. Like of newness, but, um... But well, has been delayed as well. Oh, that's so okay. I'll just come back yet. later. <laughs> yeah, because I got the black one, but I was waiting to see if like a pink or a red would come in. <laughs> but at the moment, it's just uh, green. Yes. But I like the green too, and the white's nice. 
So guys, that store is actually just a temporary pop-up store. It's not a permanent. They actually said that they're opening a new store, like not far by, like just next door somewhere um, soon, like next month. So they're going to have a lot more stock and they're going to have all the new like apple charm and cherry charm. So I might go back later because I really want like a, a cherry charm or something for my swing zip. But I am waiting for more colors of the swing zip because that's my favorite bag. And yeah, I really like this shoe. It's like a worn out denim look. Are these men's though? Yeah. Oh, can girls get them? I love this. This reminds me of like Louis Vuitton um, patchwork collection. <laughs> I really like that. Even these are pretty classic. Would you get some Alex? Yeah. Oh, they're like my I'm favorite shoes. I love Onosuka Tigers. I love this fluffy pair too, yeah, like the fluffy inside. That is really cute. Oh, the khaki color is really That'll nice as well. That would match your new t-shirt, Alex. That's, what do you reckon? <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. Oh, I know this is like way too crazy, like it would not go with anything, but I'm a sucker for blue and pink combination. That is so adorable. Love that. Um, but I, I don't know if I could style it. I probably could. I think I have a pair similar to that already. That's like the classic color scheme. <laughs> uh, Alex is trying on the shoes. I like the texture and I like the fluffy interior, although we are going into summer, so I don't know if that's going to make your foot like fully sweat, Alex. Right. I don't have sweaty feet. <laughs> yeah, you don't have sweaty feet. Very soft. Very soft. Yeah. Wow, that is really matching, Alex. I know. That is like fully matching. Yeah. Oh yeah, so Alex tried on some new Onosuka Tigers. They just released today. They were like a nylon-y texture, but he wants to think about it because he thinks that he'll destroy them, which is fair enough. So we're going to check out the On store now because I know that they're like a super trending sneaker at the moment. <laughs> like they have oh like the puffy jacket but it's on Loewe on oh, I like what that did with the logo that's really cool we've got the Loewe shoes as well down here the sneakers wow I like the purple oh guys I know that you guys overseas don't know about Oroton this is like I suppose it's an Australian brand I don't think it's made in Australia anymore I think they used to be and they have quite a few like I guess it's like a contemporary brand, which is quite cool. A bit more affordable there. Um, just check out some of the bags in the window here. Bit of a ruched bag with a little bit of a zip action happening. And if you look inside, there looks like there's a few bamboo top handle bags as well. You see that? Wow, bamboo top handles. Oh, better go in the store. Oh, a bit of a chain bag here as well. Some SLGs in that very trending Bordeaux color that everyone is loving. And then we've got, yeah, these ones here, metallic finish. Thanks for coming shopping with me and Alex today. It was so much fun to show you guys a little bit around Emporium, Melbourne, have something to eat and all that. I hope to do this again soon and I hope you have a beautiful evening or morning. See you guys soon, bye.